Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is Historical Warfare, No Time to Worry About Japan by Akio Ueda, Taipei Bureau Chief, Sankey Shimbun Newspaper. I would like to share the information of the article contents of the January issue of the monthly magazine, Saren. Recently, China's anti Japanese historical propaganda seems to be going downhill. On September 18, the 90th anniversary of the Liu Jiao Lake incident of 1931, which triggered the Manchurian incident, a commemoration ceremony was held with the attendance of the sixth ranking official in the Chinese Communist Party. However, there was not much of an uproar. And the kind of official anti Japanese demonstrations that used to exist have died down. Why is this? China is busier with anti US than anti Japan these days. In the past, the US presence in China was too large to be anti US. However, China's economy is now three quarters the size of the US economy. China is now trying to boost its national prestige with anti Americanism as a form of domestic propaganda. On the other hand, When the economic gap between China and Japan was less than twice the size, it was easy to be anti Japanese. Now, however, Japan has become a small presence for China. And anti Japanese activities do not excite the Chinese people. Japan is not enough of a critic. Therefore, China has recently begun to put more effort into criticizing the United States. In recent years, China has hardly produced any anti Japanese films. In the past, China produced a large number of anti Japanese TV dramas, and since China had become rich through economic development, it went out of its way to use Japanese actors to portray former Japanese soldiers in anti Japanese dramas and movies. Many Japanese actors went to China to play the role of Japanese soldiers who were killed in the end, which was called Special Demands for Japanese Devils. Incidentally, they were given an allowance for being killed. It is said that there were actors who appeared in various dramas and were killed about 10 times a day, and received the allowance many times. But recently they all lost their jobs and returned to Japan. Instead, There has recently been a special demand for actors who play American soldiers. Anti American dramas and movies are on the rise. And the movie, The Battle at Lake Chongjin, released in the fall of 2021, has become an explosive hit. This movie is about the Korean War, in which the Chinese Volunteer Army and the U.S. military engage in a fierce battle, with the Chinese side winning in the end. In China, Elementary school children and kindergarten children are being sent to theaters to see the movie in class. Since China and the U.S. only fought in the Korean War, it is only recently that movies about the Korean War have suddenly started to be made. In this way, anti American activities are being promoted in China, and the anti American mood is growing. The Chinese authorities, however, are really afraid of offending the United States. Domestically, they are trying to unite the people by stirring up anti Americanism, but externally, they expect Japan to play a mediating role so that relations with the U.S. do not deteriorate. Also, if China is too anti Japanese, Xi Jinping's visit to Japan will not happen. For China, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi are two people who can be expected to greatly improve Japan China relations. Over the past two or three years, Japan has made a number of in depth statements on the Taiwan issue, but China has reflexively criticized the Japanese statements on the spot. However, China has not imposed sanctions against Japan or persisted in its criticism. China's protests were made on the spot, and that was that. That is why Chinese sentiment toward Japan is much better than before. For example, according to the results of a public opinion poll released by a speech NPO last October, 
The percentage of Japanese who have a bad impression of China was over 90%, while the percentage of Chinese who have a bad impression of Japan was once over 90%. But this time it was in the 60% range. In the past, Japanese cars did not sell well in China due to the fear of being targeted for destruction in anti Japanese demonstrations, but in recent years, sales of Japanese cars have been strong. That's all for now. I have shared the information of the article contents of the January issue of the monthly magazine, Saren. Thank you for watching.